Hello, my fellow <laughs> athletes. So today we are going to learn about heat stroke. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, we'll, we will be able to identify, prevent, and treat heat stroke. So the first thing is, what is the definition of heat stroke? The definition of heat stroke is a condition that is caused by overheating of the body, resulting from too much sun exposure or exertion. Now, I'm going to talk about the symptoms of heat stroke. Some symptoms of heat stroke include a headache, dizziness, nausea, red, hot, and dry skin, a lack of sweating, while well, you should be sweating, rapid breathing, and muscle weakness. So, what I'm about to do is I am going to exemplify some uh, symptoms, and you guys are going to have to guess which ones I'm exemplifying. So the first one is, <gasps> yes, Jordan. Rapid breathing. Yes, bingo. And then the second one is, whew, I should be sweating, but I'm not. What is Lack going of on? sweating. Oh, yes. There you go, Duffy. Great one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to prevent heat stroke. Now. Does anyone have any ideas on how to prevent heat stroke? Jordan? Wear sunscreen. Sunscreen, classic. Nicole? Drink lots of water. Another classic, Buffy? I wore a hat. Oh. Good one. Any others? No? Okay, so now I'm going to show you my list that I came up prior to the lesson. And these include sunscreen, nice one, uh, a hat, nice one, um, and light colored clothing, light, uh, light clothing that does not weigh a lot. Um, and also covers both the shoulders and most of the body. Uh, drink lots of water, it is key to rehydrate and be hydrated. Um, and if you're feeling too hot and feel like you might be at risk of heat stroke, uh, then going into the shade and taking a break. Now, what we're gonna do is how to treat heat stroke. So the main ways that you would treat heat stroke is first, by get to a shady or air-conditioned place, rehydrate with water, uh, apply damp sheets to the body, and take a break from the activities, uh, or sit out when you feel that you're being overexerted. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some situational games. So our first situation is, uh, which items in this pile of clothes uh, and utensils uh, can we use to prevent heat stroke. So first we have a hat, uh, some goggles with sunglasses, um, a light jacket, a book, sunscreen, a pillow, a water bottle, and some coffee. So can I have a volunteer to come and exemplify situation one? Yes, Nicole. Pillow and coffee. Oh, silly you. That is not actually the ideal uh, utensils that, we're, that you would use. The idea is when you rehydrate, you need to use uncaffeinated, uh, non-alcoholic or non-sugary water because caffeine, as we all know, is a dehydrant. Do I have a second volunteer? Ah, Jordan. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Nice, very good, very good. These would be the ideal uh, objects and items that you would use to prevent and treat, not treat, but prevent uh, heat stroke. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, sec a second situation. Uh, the second situation, I would need a volunteer. Um, so a volunteer has heat stroke uh, and we have to go through the steps as a group on how to prevent it. So can I have a volunteer? 
and treat it. Do I have a volunteer? I'm gonna volunteer. Duffy? Okay. Okay, so... So you have heat stroke. You have yep. uh, dry skin, dry hot skin. Here, we'll go over here okay. to be in front of the class. So you have dry hot skin, you're hyperventilating, um, and you're feeling wheezy. What's the first thing that we're doing? Yes. Get into a shady area. Yes. Okay. First thing what we'll do is get into a shady area. Just like that. And then make sure you have a cap on. Just like that. And then what's the next thing that we're going to do? Hydrate. Yes. Bingo. Water. Water. Nice. Perfect. Um, and then anything else that we can do? Um, apply damp sheets to body. Apply damp sheets to body. Good one. There you go. And now we are fully uh, able to treat and now we'll sit down as well just to make sure that you're not overexerting yourself. So there we go. Way to go, Duffy. Now, class, in the future, how will you prepare for heat stroke? Jordan? Wear a hat. Wear a hat, yes. Drink water. So we have wear a hat, hydrate, and take a break. Don't be afraid to take breaks. Exactly. So now we'll do our questions. And uh, do you guys have any questions for me? Jordan. What do you do if the symptoms don't go away? That's a great question. Well, the first thing that you'll do uh, if the symptoms don't go away, is you'll call me over, um, and then I'll check on you guys, uh, and then I'll call 911 if they get too serious. Um, and yeah, so you're in good hands. Nicole? Have you ever had experience with heat stroke? I have had experience with heat stroke. When I was not wearing a shirt under my life jacket and I didn't put sunscreen on, I got a sunburn and had heat stroke, and I felt miserable for the next few days. Any other questions? Jordan. What do you do if you get heat stroke on the water? If you get heat stroke on the water, first thing that you'll do is advise your crew. And then if you don't have a crew, uh, still both in both scenarios, you'll call me over. Um, and then I'll, uh, and then one of you guys can get on, and then you can get on my boat. We'll hide you under the sails. Uh, I'll give you some water and uh, we'll take a break until the symptoms go away and you start to feel better. Cool. Have you had experience dealing with heat stroke? I have had experience dealing with heat stroke, both with myself and with my sister. Uh, when I was sailing with her, uh, what we did was uh, we took a break and then she jumped in the water for a bit. She hydrated, she reapplied sunscreen, um, and she put on her splash coat that was in the uh, kite bag. Any other questions? Now, we're going to return uh, to our objective. Today we have learned uh, about heat stroke, what it is, how to prevent it, and how to treat it. Uh, now, let's go sailing. Woo!